We think you're going to like it. We think you're going to like it. We think you're going to like it. All righty. I have a construction update for you guys today. So we were in the park yesterday and things are starting to shape out. So I'm going to go over as much as I possibly can in this video. I am saving certain facts for another video that I plan on releasing in two to three days. Um, it's going to be action packed with a lot of information, but to get it started, Extreme Sky Flyers plot of land does not have too much action. Um, there is one orange footing hidden right back here, marking for a footing um, that is heading towards Extreme Sky Flyer. Pizza Pizza's patio has the same footings marked. Nothing done yet, but that is going to change. Um, Guardians lockers are gone. The ride is still shut down, but the park was cycling it today and testing it. I was told the ride is not going to open this weekend, um, but I can't personally confirm that. Um, so we'll just have to see. Uh, there was a slight correction to the placement of these markings. So you can see the old one there. And they moved 157C slightly over that way. Um, so definitely some adjustments going on there, which is a little weird. Um, and then you have your markings over here. Now, these ones are interesting because they're marked as 117 and 125. Now, what's even more interesting is right under the turn off of the lift hill for Guardian, we have 157 A, B, and C again. Um, and I want to tell you guys that is extremely telling. Um, I'm going to go over that in my other video that I talk about how I am fully predicting a certain manufacturer. But having the two sets of three, both 157 and then A, B, and C, um, is very telling. And I'll explain how they're connected in that video. Now, this whole area is going to house a lot of overpath elements. Um, so it's very interesting. Uh, and when you think about coasters that travel over paths, obviously there's a few manufacturers that come to mind, some that do it better than others. Um, but what I want to talk about is some survey markings on the top of the mountain. So above the mountain, right up at Vortex's turn, um, the gates and the support columns all have survey markings on it. That is a node to the potential that a coaster is going to come up shooting out the top of the mountain. And when I caught the crane company there figuring out how they're going to lift the track piece into the place, you can see them pointing up there. It seems pretty obvious that the uh, there's going to be a track segment coming out of the top of the mountain. With that being said, there are two other uh, markings over here to the left of the Vortex lift hill. So that's interesting in itself. Tiny Toms is coming along really nicely. The old station has had its land a little flattened. Um, and there's some markings for footings in the previous areas where there's been some footings dug. Uh, dug. So that's interesting as well. Um, they are going to be starting full force work this Monday or Tuesday, depending on weather. So fingers crossed the case on machine for the water site has been removed because a bigger one is going to be required for this project. They fenced off the uh, no go zone for the fly finally. Um, and some markings have appeared at tunnel three. Um, and there's one interesting marking just right in the middle there as it exits. Now I definitely um, think that tunnel three is going to be utilized for the coaster you cannot bring track segment in through that small cutout there um, I mean I guess they could lift it with a telecarrier above that but um, a little confused just because getting track segments in through that way isn't that possible um, so I haven't figured out a way they're going to get them in the mountain yet because both tunnel two and tunnel three are very small um, VIP section is coming along nicely here is the old pirate ship where they did shows um, that has been completely removed. They do have something planned to be coming. It is going to take a while for it to be finished construction. So it's going to be a long project until July. The boat, Vikings Rage, is looking really good. So I just wanted to showcase that new um, aesthetic they've given the ride. I absolutely am in love with it. I don't know why. I just think it looks amazing. Um, and yeah, so Guardian um, is interesting because this coaster looks like it's going to hug the side of the mountain and it's going to interact with this area a lot. And I wanted to show this because with the support, support columns going upward, Guardian's in the way. Now, do I think Guardian's getting removed? Absolutely not. Um, that would be crazy. But do I think that there is going to be an overcrowding of supports and steel in this area? Yeah, I do. But one um, thing I wanted to show you guys is just how different the mountain is going to look with track coming out of it. And I wanted to show the specific angle because I thought this specific angle was super cool. Now, here are those two support columns that are really confusing. You have 117, 
closest to Craig there, and then 125 the furthest, just a little bit over. Um, so those are the two that are really confusing us because they have 157 right near, and then the 130s in the Pizza Pizza um, patio. So it, it, the whole mapping out Extreme Skyflyer with this coaster is a little confusing at the moment, but it's going to make a lot more sense as more caissons are marked on the ground. And I am excited for that because I have, I've just been creating this map, marking everything, um, and it's part of the video I'm going to be releasing to you guys about why I pretty much can confirm to my fullest knowledge um, the location or the uh, manufacturer. Now I want to show the footings are starting to sink again. So that was pretty funny. But what I want to show you guys is the new Grand World Eatery sign. It's absolutely beautiful. This might be the most beautiful sign in the park, ride sign included. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And when I it becomes a little darker outside, you guys are going to see inside the restaurant. They've done a really good job. It looks so much better on the inside. Um, and at nighttime, you will get to see it in just a second. It looks so good. It's set up like Lazy Bear, so they're going to utilize both sides by the looks of it. Um, they have two checkout points, one on the left, one on the right. Um, so right here, you can see inside, it's got a really beautiful aesthetic with a light baby blue color and pastel color and then white. Um, and then the kitchen walls look really good and uh, both sides and then the queue line that splits off left or right. Um, so I have a feeling they'll have like, either two menus on either end or both sides will just have exactly like lazy bear where you pick an entree and a side and then you go left or right so looking forward to that and then here's the new wonderland store sign so it's starting to look better with the sign up but yeah anyways that's all i have for a construction update for you guys right now i promise you guys it is about to heat up and it's just going to be action-packed for the rest of the year have a good one guys bye <laughs>